Hey, Merry Christmas, Uncivilized Vitality. Um, we're gonna talk about the Christmas gift that's coming to us next year called the, uh, the Ground Buddy, Ground Buddy 2.0. Uh, I'm sitting on Ground Buddy uh, 1, and I'll show you that in a moment. But what do you do when you're outside and it's raining and you want to avoid uh, CBS or WBS, uh, cold butt syndrome or wet butt syndrome, especially if we get into the wet, wet season. So uh, it's early Sunday morning, it was raining out, so I thought I'll get my wife and have her walk to the park with me and sit in the rain so we can film a video. She's super appreciative of that. So, a um, couple things you can do. Wear water impervious pants and just sit down on the ground and just have a wet butt. It's typically what I do because uh, I don't think about it. Or you can use one of those flat white mailers from Amazon. They're free, they're cheap. That always works really good. Um, a bigger one, about this size, just a dry bag. Sometimes I just empty stuff out of my dry bag my food kit and I just sit on that. Keeps my butt off the ground, but then like my feet and knees are on the, on the wet and it uh, doesn't leave me room to put my things down and it's kind of slippery. So you could do that. Just carry a dry bag with you uh, or one of those Amazon packages. The dry bag at least, at least serves two purposes. The Amazon mailer doesn't take up a lot of space and weighs nothing. So therefore it's it's okay that it's a single use item, but let's say um, I've got some things with me, some food, some different gear, uh, some dry bags off to the side, and I wanna empty those out to sit on one. So I came up with the Ground Buddy, which is this uh, round structure. It's got a water impervious side and then kind of a, uh, a woolen plaid on this side. And then I ran grommets through that so that I could put some of my picnic gear I could throw inside the bag and just draw a string, right? It's got a little, uh, little clasp. I could just draw a string, lock that. And now I've got a little, um, little shoulder bag. I could carry some of my stuff around. Not super convenient um, to carry around, but it works. And I could use it as a, a quick uh, picnic aid. Uh, my wife has one too. And I measured these out for each person. So they were the length of your leg from toe tip to knee. So my wife's is a little smaller. This allowed kneeling or a cross-legged sitting so nothing's off on the ground, right? But not a lot of opening for me to set other things. The one drawback is the, um, the limited nature of this. I mean, it makes a nice draw, drawstring bag or a purse, but there are other things we could do. So this year, we're coming out uh, with Ground Buddy 2.0, which is going to be a larger cloth. It's about one meter square. Okay? One side is water, waterproof and impervious. The other side is like a nice uh, wool or flannel. And it's fairly lightweight. This gives me plenty of room uh, to sit down on. It's larger than the Ground Buddy. And now I can sit kneeling or... Um, cross open bent sit or uh, side bent sit and then I've got extra space to set things down I don't want in the dirt. If it's raining like it is now I could just fold this in half to protect the dry side and I'd still have a place for my butt and my wife's butt so we could sit side by side. If it was just me I could even fold it down again into a square cloth and I've got a place to set my bottom and some of my gear to stay <clears throat> out of the rain. What makes Ground Buddy 2.0 a little more functional is this is just the prototype, but the finished version will have a little pocket on the inside so you could fold it or stuff it inside out. Just wad that up into a, imagine it's going into a pillow sleeve. And now you've got a nice soft uh, pillow uh, for inside your hammock, because I typically use this when I'm on my side in the hammock so my shoulders are, are wide and my neck dips down. So I'll put something under. Usually just wadded up cloth or whatever, uh, clothing or whatever I've got. But now I've got a dedicated pillow. Ground Buddy 2.0, since it's rainy out today, I could also use that as a quick, um, just to shed some of the water as I ran back to camp to get my poncho. The red side and the brown side will be color coded. Um, the productions will probably be a brighter color or stripe so you can use the back as a signal panel as well. When you get out of your hammock at night, you can undo your pillow, throw it down. Now you've got a dry place uh, to put your feet, put your boots and socks on, sit down, get dressed. The Velcro that runs the edges 
is able to be lined up on the side here and seal this off into a, a triangle. And into this triangular bag, I can insert the rest of my gear, seal that shut. And again, the production, um, the production version is going to have a couple of um, little daisy chains here so you can lash things to the outside. Once you have folded your ground buddy into this triangle configuration that's closed with the Velcro, you're going to take your fast rope, which you should always have with you, and push a little bite of that through. Yeah, maybe on the production model I'll get larger grommets. But you're going to run that through and just make a simple girth hitch or cow hitch on one of the corners. You could even leave that vast rope fastened when you stop to sit. Then I go up here to the, the apex or the peak, run my fast rope through there. So now you've got a piece of equipment and you pull it up tight enough so that the, the tip folds up about half the distance again to the peak. Uh, you, can, you can adjust this for size depending on if you're using it in the winter or the summer. Um, if you have a bulky outer layer um, or you're, you're just a larger or smaller person to deal with the meter, uh, you could change the size a little bit. So once you've gotten your fast rope through there, you'll come down to the last corner, put the fast rope through the grommets. The grommets could also be used to hang the ground buddy up above you in sort of an umbrella or a, a quick poncho configuration. Once it's through here, you throw the remainder of the fast rope over, pull it through, just a quick half hitch, and then you've got this, uh, the rope dangling. Then from here, you slip your arms through, and you've got a wearable, a wearable pack. Now this is not comfortable, comfortable enough for maybe long range hiking, but it does allow you these little wing pockets. So I could open up, slide my water bottle in right there so I have you know ready access to it. If you're carrying maybe a whole day's worth, you can use that part that you'd half hitched off and come across here, loop that over with just a slip, a slipped, half hitch to make kind of a sternum strap to hold that. Oops, microphone. So you have a little Ground Buddy 2.0 backpack. It hugs on like this. Um, so an improvement over the old Ground Buddy first version that only really served one or two purposes. The new Ground Buddy, you'll be able to use that in multiple ways. Um, the outside, you'll have a signal panel. The inside uh, slip pocket, you have a nice warm pillow. You have a ground pad to stand on. You have multiple sizes to sit or uh, share with a friend or open all the way up for a picnic spread. Um, you can hang it up as a sort of an awning over your tent, uh, to like a, a vestibule awning. Lots of different uses for it. And I'll come up with more uh, as we go. There'll be some Velcro on the outside of the production model so you can join that to another one and make a nice long sleeping pad. I'm also considering uh, Ground Buddy XL, which I was talking to the wife about on the walk-in. That's a meter by two meters. Uh, so you can get a whole, um, use that as your ground pad to sleep on. So you put your air mattress or your closed cell foam pad and your blankets on it under your poncho and uh, uh, make a tarp. So multiple use item. This is just a prototype. It's coming soon. Um, Merry Christmas. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.